The COVID second wave has been coming under control in Tamil Nadu over the past weeks. At this juncture, on June 14, 2021, postgraduate medical students working in government hospitals across Tamil Nadu staged a demonstration wearing black badges and demanding hype on their stipends. All over the country, MBBS students, that is, undergraduate medical students, are attending compulsory rotatory residential internship or CRRI and the postgraduate students, MD, MS, LCH and DM students, practicing in government hospitals is made a compulsory part of their curriculum. With the added practice of these health workers, COVID patients are being treated. To understand more about why medical students have raised the demand for adequate compensation for their work at present, NewsClick reached out to representatives of Tamil Nadu Resident Doctors Association. So basically, uh... What we had uh, uh, seen is that uh, doctors have been working hard. They have been uh, uh, overworked uh, during uh, these past uh, few months. Not only these past few months, but um, what has been happening is that there has been a disparity between the work and the pay that has been given for the said work. The previous hike by the government was done in the year 2018. And uh, currently, uh, the PGs in Tamil Nadu uh, for the first year PGs, uh, we are receiving an amount of rupees 37,000 per month. And for the super specialty PGs, that is uh, DM and MCH PGs, they are uh, receiving uh, an amount of rupees 42,000 per month, first years. So uh, this uh, uh, amount uh, has been like uh, statistically uh, covered. We have uh, checked and analyzed with all the other states and we have found that uh, it is the least uh, in our country. Uh, this is considering all the state governments and not the central institutes. The central institutes, for example, Ames, Jipmer, PGA Chandigarh have uh, an amount which is almost uh, three times the set amount that is being given to us. What we have proceeded was a step-by-step -step approach to the state government, um, sending out formal letters to the Honorable uh, Health uh, Secretary, Honorable Health Minister, the Honorable Finance uh, Minister, and also our Honorable Chief Minister. We have also approached the Directorate of Medical Education for the same. Uh, however, there has been no official written statement released. There have been a series of uh, tweets released by the official TNRDA page and TNMSA regarding the same issue on Twitter with over 900 retweets, but we haven't received any official word in writing. Therefore, it was decided to conduct a black badge demonstration two days ago. The point to be noted is that all services were continued despite the black badge demonstration. There was no service from the doctor's side which was interrupted. All elective services, all emergency services, and all COVID duties were continuing as uh, planned. And this has been going on for the past two months with no interruption. Whatever representation we have done to the government has been through a formal uh, manner and through a very step-by-step -step approach. The least that we had expected from the government was a public uh, uh, a release, a formal release or a, a formal order to be given uh, by the government if not in the newspapers, at least in the social media. And uh, this has not been done till now. Therefore, our team at TNRDA, consisting over 6,000 doctors across Tamil Nadu, decided to conduct a black batch uh, demonstration for the same. We are hoping for a favorable response from the government of Tamil Nadu uh, towards our uh, request. So the thing to be noted is that uh, the previous hike or stipend hike happened in the year 2018, uh, where the salary was actually raised from uh, 28,000 to 35,000. And even that happened, unfortunately, after a massive protest shook the state. Uh, like there was no peaceful black badge demonstration or no peaceful protest as such. Uh, almost, you know, 5,000 doctors all, all across the state, they joined hands and uh, almost 1,000 doctors, they blocked roads and chased road rockers opposite MMC. So it was a massive protest and the government literally had to call us and, you know, talk and negotiate the uh, demands. 
and and they didn't uh, increase as stipend by about 7000 rupees they made 35000 rupees and then 500 rupees was added every year and now it's 37.5 uh, for the first apgs so so what has been noted here is the point that uh, even the previous stipend hike happened only because the doctors entirely begged for their salaries so this is uh, not a good sign of things uh, to be occurring in the country number one and number two uh, like uh, as ruben talked clearly elaborated uh, we have been uh, you know for the past 45 days they have been diplomatically approaching the government we have been uh, sending almost 100 mails every day from all our accounts remember the tnrd consists of all the pgs and the interns in the state and everybody has been sending mails to the government you know official mails from their accounts to the mail uh, to the health minister the health secretary on the finance minister the finance secretary who we think be involved and like who we think was involved in this issue who we think would probably solve this issue for us we have been we have made sure that everyone has, uh, has received our mails uh, and and we have been documenting everything and not just mails we have been making formal representations about our demands uh, face to face right from the cm to the health minister uh, to the health secretary and the dme so all so all, so, so we have been hitting at every every part of the pyramid right from the beginning and for the past 45 to 50 days and the government is also aware of our steps because we keep tweeting about our efforts daily we keep posting it on social media daily and uh, not just that uh, we have also been meeting the officials you know face to face and they have been giving us oral assurances just blank empty promises and oral assurances that they that they will meet our demands and they probably have a solution in hand and they have been keeping us in the dark but i believe all this is pure red tape is because nothing uh, solid has come out of our of our of our demands yet and the government uh, though they're giving us oral assurances nothing the, like nothing in the form of a formal statement or a press release or a government announcement has come forth so that is what has been lacking uh, uh, in our like uh, from the government side so 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 we had to amp up our uh, our, our agitation to uh, we didn't want to make it as aggressive as you know as the neighboring states like mp andhra telangana went ahead with we didn't want to disrupt government services Uh, at all uh, see because doing a massive strike or protest in this situation with the covid pandemic uh, still not settled would be uh, totally unbecoming of what a good doctor is and that would be catastrophic to, uh, like to both the government and the public in large so to make sure that services are not disrupted and to make sure that uh, people are not affected but also make sure that the government knew about our grief and they had to listen to our voice we had no other option but to actually stage a black badge demonstration uh, as ruben pointed out uh, no services no services were stopped or disrupted at all everything was like, like everything went as planned and as uh, it was before the black west demonstration and uh, the doctors who came for the demonstration uh, were all doctors who are off duty or doctors who sacrificed their resting hours for the sake of uh, this cause and uh, we just hope that the government will probably uh, respond to our calls of grief because uh, like our state performs wonderfully in, in the uh, health care setup we have a great health care setup thanks to our cm insurance policy we do so many surgeries so many cases uh, the health care is uh, is one of the big uh, you know plus points about uh, tamil nadu as a state uh, as a as a high performing state in india and uh, to be the least paid doctors in the uh, entire nation after this you know it really hurts a lot because it is totally unfair for in no way are our pgs or the, the pgs of our state in no way they are working less than the uh, the, uh, the pgs of other states it is the same amount of hard work that they put uh, that they put and uh, and if not more because uh, tamil nadu has been getting a lot of cases in both covid and non covid so uh, in terms of performance our pgs are no ways inferior to the pgs uh, up north and to be paid literally half of what uh, states like gujarat delhi are being paid it really hurts us a lot and uh, what we are asking for is not unfair Uh, yeah so we have like two proper demands one is a stipend hike and one is a yearly percentage increase of a stipend the yearly uh, the yearly percentage increase is definitely paramount to our expectations because if they're going to increase a stipend hike by an amount every year it won't solve the problem if it, uh, or if we increase it like you know percentage wise yearly it will make sure that 10 years down the line our juniors don't have to hold up placards and you know again beg for their salary because if it's going to be increased on a percentage basis with the inflation rate kept in calculation you know such protests such demonstrations will not be necessary at all so we really hope that the government listens to our demands and you know we just want a diplomatic solution for this these resident doctors are facing many difficulties in the pandemic period given that they are on covid duty they cannot go home to their families 
and it is the duty of the government to provide them proper accommodation. Doctors say that their accommodations lack basic facilities. Though many other states are giving perks to their PG students, apparently this is not the case in Tamil Nadu. Let's learn more about the situation from the students. So a fixed time period was mentioned uh, for which uh, rupees 20,000 and uh, 30,000 uh, based on the cadre would be provided and uh, that is actually under process and only the names and the time period where the postgraduates have served has only been noted down so far and that uh, amount has not uh, reached uh, anyone yet. Secondly, there is uh, no um, extra allowance as such being provided, you know, for uh, COVID duty, unlike states in, for example, Karnataka, where the interns themselves who earn a stipend of rupees 30,000 are paid uh, a gratuity of another rupees 10,000 for their COVID duty. Our norms specify that we have to work for 8 to 12 hours per day, actually 8 hours, which can never happen any time because uh, if a case is sick and if the case is in my ward, I have to do everything in my power to make sure that the case becomes stable. Until then, I cannot budge out of that, uh, you know, out of that be patient's bedside. The intern is allowed to leave soon. The assistant professor is allowed to leave soon. The chief just has to come and show his face that. Whereas a PG, a postgraduate, has to, has to remain by the bedside till the patient dies or till the patient gets stabilized, number one. And number two, I really, uh, you know, like uh, over the past uh, over the past two uh, uh, two months, we have been really uh, trying our best to, you know, meet the government officials and raise their issues and, you know, make sure that they listen to our demands. This shouldn't be the case. I think there should be a proper, you know, a grievance system for doctors because we face uh, we face so much pressure, mental and physical pressure. People keep forgetting that you know we are also humans and we have a family to run and we have friends. We have friends and family circles who keep falling ill, who keep falling, who keep coming back to us for their uh, for their opinions and suggestions. You know, so we have to take care of that. And uh, we are also humans. We also have a married life. We have uh, uh, we have relationships to take care of. We have so many issues, and when we fall sick. And beyond all that, we have to discharge our duties as medical practitioners. So, and in, and 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 in spite of all these thousand and one issues, uh, there is a stipend hike issue, and uh, this issue really opened me. I mean, opened my eyes to the fact that uh, if a doctor has to go and request or beg for something, nobody's in a position to listen to us. So that so there really has to be a proper uh, redress and grievance system for us to voice out our grievances and our opinions. We are working. We all 365 days, ma'am. The stipend they're giving around 35,000 rupees is only for 290 working days. We are supposed to have a, every Sunday we are supposed to get a leave and we have a, a vacation holidays also for around 25 days. So if we put all together, we have to work only for 290 days in a year, ma'am. But we're wor working 360 days and we're working to, we are available all 24 hours. There is no proper time shift for us. We have to be available for 24 hours and all 360 days, ma'am. But according to the MCA rule, what they say is, we have to uh, work only for 290 days and in a week for maximum 48 hours. And the stipend they are paying is for only that much of work. That is 48 hours a week and 290 working days. We are almost doing four times the work now. In case you are providing us around 40,000 rupees, we are doing four times the work. We deserve around 1,20,000 rupees. That's how it is in every other profession. If a security guard works for two shifts, he'll ask for two shifts money only. He won't get a one shift money and work for two shifts, right? So similarly, why not for doctors like we, just because we are students, we are exploited, we are made to work are almost four times and they still pay the same like 35,000 rupees to 40,000 rupees. How fair is it? They should consider this, right? Ma'am, uh, next thing, we are working in COVID for more than one year. Since the start of the pandemic, I'm working in COVID work, ma'am. Now recently, because of the recent case load, we are unable to uh, manage the patients. So now government has recently passed an order saying that they, have, they are recruiting 2,100 MBBS doctors for 60,000 rupees, ma'am. Ma'am, I have finished MBBS, I have written NEET exam, which is one of the most difficult exams, more difficult than an IAS exam. I have written that exam and I have joined the uh, MD course and I am getting paid around 35 to 40,000 rupees. And now they are paying, they are, they are recruiting 2,100 MBBS doctors who are junior to me for 60,000 rupees, ma'am. So what about me who is working in the same hospital for more than one year and getting paid less than that? How far is it?